Hey friends, welcome back to my channel, Accidental Beauty. If you're new, welcome. My name is Laura. I'm a self-taught makeup enthusiast who absolutely loves trying new products, and that's what I'm gonna be doing today. I'm gonna be doing a quick little mini review uh, of the sample that I got of the KVD Locket Setting Powder. This is not a new product. This is in the shade Translucent, by the way. But uh, I got this as like one of those little like Sephora samplers. Like if you spend over a certain amount, they give you like a goodie bag of stuff. So um, I figured I'd never actually tried this product from them before, so I wanted to test it out, see what I thought. Uh, so I'm just going to be doing a quick little review and kind of tutorial. So if you want to see that, then please keep on watching. So let's just make this quick. I'm going to jump in. I have this teeny little sample of the Locket powder, setting powder, that I got from, it was like some, one of those like deluxe gift bag things that you get from Sephora if you spend over a certain amount. Uh, so this was all, I think, foundation, concealer, and setting powder, that sort of thing, if I remember correctly. I don't know, I got this a while ago. So we have like the teeny tiniest sifter. Is this how you're supposed to do it? I'm just kind of like tapping to get a bit of this powder says it's translucent and I'll just take a fluffy brush and set under my eyes just try and tap some onto the cap maybe that'll be easier I kind of want to just set my whole face very lightly because I'm going to go into a bunch of powder products and I don't want them to drag my foundation I'm sure it'll be fine. I usually don't have too much trouble with products, you know, moving around because I don't usually set my face. It has like a little bit of a smell. Not too, too bad. Okay. Yeah, that, that feels mostly fine. I just want to set my forehead and under my eyes a little bit better. And I think I'm just going to use a little sponge, a normal size sponge, just to really get in there. This area really, I mean like not really, but like in the past year or so has started creasing on me. So I just want to make sure it's super smooth. And then same with my forehead. Okay. That looks really nice actually really really nice and smoothed wow that's a really nice powder that's about it so i'm just gonna quickly do the rest of my face and then i'll tell you guys my final thoughts okay so uh this is this is my face done uh which you saw at the beginning of the video so uh what do i think i really like this powder I do have a tiny bit of creasing still happening under my eyes. It's possible that I didn't like pat in my foundation and concealer well enough and it creased and then I set it. Um, I do also have a tiny bit of creasing around like my mouth, my forehead a little bit, but overall not too, too bad. So I have to say, I think I might like this powder more than my RCMA no color powder, which is like my go-to right now. I don't know what it is, if it like bounces light off or if it's just, I don't know. I don't know, but um, I really like this. I'm excited to use this some more. Definitely recommend. Now that the brand is not owned by Kat Von D, I don't feel guilty buying things from them. Uh, if they still even offer this product because they've like switched around, like they're, they're rebranding and they're doing different stuff, but um, yeah, definitely recommend this product. I really like it. Kind of considering once I finish this up, assuming that I like it by the time I finish it, I'm kind of considering buying the full size because this is a really solid product. So I would give it a solid five out of five. Really enjoyed it. If you, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comment section below if you've tried this product before or if I've convinced you to check out this product, let me know. If you like the type of looks that I do here on my channel, and I'm sure you'll enjoy the content that I post on my other social media, so I'd love it if you can give me a follow. And if you enjoy the content that I post here on my channel, I'd love it if you can subscribe and turn on notifications, and that way you'll get updated every time I post a new video. And I'll see you guys next time.